It's Wednesday, May 27th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. China has held a groundbreaking ceremony for two lighthouses it's building in internationally contested waters. The move will likely fuel fiery tensions with the U.S. over the South China Sea. Shipping lanes transport some $5 trillion in commercial goods through the waters every year. China's government has said it will continue with such projects to improve navigational security. But the Pentagon says it believes Beijing will use construction activities to lay claim to the entire body of water and go as far as limit the movement of ships and aircraft. France is taking bold steps to fight food waste. On Tuesday, the lower house of parliament passed a bill that would penalize big supermarkets that destroy unsold but edible food. Under the law, store managers could receive a jail sentence of two years and a fine of 75,000 euros. The extra food must now be donated to charities or to feed animals. French people throw away up to 60 pounds of food each every year. Most of the food thrown away in developed countries ends up in landfills, while people go hungry elsewhere. Europe is tackling a new form of human trafficking. Authorities say poor Eastern European women are being lured into sham marriages in the West. They're promised jobs and money, but are often forced into prostitution. The men they marry are living there illegally or on short-term visas. Traffickers are using the marriages to get around recently tightened borders and immigration policies. More than a third as many Americans are traveling to Cuba even though an official ban remains in place. Thousands are using other entry points such as Mexico and Jamaica to bypass U.S. restrictions. Despite a warming of diplomatic ties, Americans are only granted visas if they qualify for one of 12 licenses offered by the U.S. Department of Treasury. That includes family visits, sporting events, or for academic or religious reasons. But analysts say enforcement of the ban has been relatively loose under the Obama administration, a sign that until Congress lifts the embargo, authorities are willing to look the other way. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. Yeah, if I'm at the